The fear of God keeps us in wisdom. We've been talking about the fear of God and uh, living a life which is honoring God at all times. Uh, and this is the life that is a life of worship towards God. Scriptures also teach us that when we walk in the fear of God, uh, we will also walk in God's wisdom. Psalms 111 verse 10, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do His commandments. His praise endures forever. So this is uh, an invitation to walk in the fear of God because along with that is attached the wisdom of God. Um, and, and when we walk in the fear of God, we will walk in His commandments according to, to what He wants us to do. And, and that too is attached to good understanding. And Proverbs tells us, you know, in getting all things, um, get understanding. Wisdom is important, knowledge is important, understanding is important. But how to, to gain all of this? We need a life of the fear of God. And Proverbs 1 7 also encourages us that we need to walk in the fear of God and, and that this is wisdom. Uh, so wisdom uh, is to engage ourselves um, knowing that, that at all times, you know, may, may God find us in the right position. What is that right position? It's a position of faith you know, where we do all things by faith. Uh, it's a position of worship uh, where we do all things as worship unto the Lord. Uh, we do all things with discernment, discerning uh, good from evil. We, we only engage uh, with, with what is good and, and that is wisdom. And we've already looked at the fact that when we walk with the fear of the Lord, we're also kept away from entanglement of sin. Here are a few more uh, scriptures that talk about the fear of God uh, along with wisdom. Job 28, 28. It says, and to man he said, behold the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. So the fear of God um, uh, is our wisdom. Uh, and we need the wisdom of God, you know, uh, above all things, uh, today, uh, I believe, you know, what we, what we require is, is um, the mind of God. Wherever God has planted us, not just according to what we can uh, conjure up, but the very mind of God in our circumstances, uh, that is going to set us free. And that is uh, what, what will bring the refreshing of God into our lives. That is what uh, will breathe the, the life of God uh, into us. And so we need that mind of God. And for us to have uh, that mind of God, that, that, that mind of wisdom, uh, we've got to walk in the fear of God. Uh, and this day I encourage us to, to pursue uh, the fear of God in every area of our lives and uh, um, as we do that, you know, I, I believe that uh, we will increase uh, in the wisdom of God over our lives. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you that Lord, uh, your fear, O oh God, will bring wisdom into our lives. Father God, even right now, I pray that uh, each one of us, thank you, Lord, that in Christ Jesus, we already have the mind of Christ. But I pray, God, that, Lord, you would uh, grant revelation to each one of us, O oh God, Lord, and especially, O oh God, um, uh, Lord, uh, the things that, that we've got to do in our lives, that, uh, Father God, according to your wisdom, Lord, that you will lead us. Uh, and Father, I pray that we will abound in wisdom, Lord, even as, uh, Lord, we, we live a life that fears you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for for being such a good god uh, to us in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org